So when it comes to short term rentals in Mesa, things are changing and it all starts today. This new ordinance kicks in as thousands of visitors are heading here to the Valley for the Super Bowl and the WM Phoenix Open. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks, you can see, is joining us live in Mesa. Trisha, break down these new rules. Good morning, guys. Well, there are several new requirements, including a license, a $250 license that you must have if you're a short-term property owner. The city of Mesa says this short-term rental uh, owners can no longer rent their property out to a number of people, including sex offenders, sober living homes, or anyone who plans on participating in adult uh, entertainment business. So this is just six hours after this went into effect, this new ordinance as an effort to protect the health and well-being of both those who rent as well as visitors. Now take a listen to this. The measure approved by City Council in October changes the Mesa City Code and it follows the approval of a new state law that gives cities more flexibility to regulate short-term rental properties in an effort to cut back on loud parties at Airbnbs and have a better system for tracking complaints. So starting Today, short-term property owners here in Mesa will have have to have that business license and pay a $250 annual fee. They will also have to give people who live near their property their emergency contact information. That's in case the situation arises. Like the other ordinances in place in other cities, Mesa's requires sex owner background checks be conducted on anyone booking the rental. Any owners who do not comply uh, will face fines. So rental companies have also instituted new policies to discourage parties from happening. We've seen uh, some pretty big uh, messes as far as those parties go with Airbnbs in past years. So Airbnb actually banned 6,000 people uh, breaking the new rules last year, but that didn't seem to affect any of their bookings, didn't seem to slow any bookings as of yet. For now, we're live in Mesa. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News Today in AZ.